Hi guys, it's me, Danielle, Danny Buttons, and I have a new manicure, which means it's time for a new wave of videos. I'm gonna be mass filming today, getting it all prepared for you guys, and up next is another pull from our challenge cup. I'm very excited to try again. If you saw the first challenge, it was using my watercolors. Hope you enjoyed that video, but hopefully we get a more unique challenge this time, I'll say. I do have a few new ones that I wanna put in here, so I left them unfolded so I could tell you about them. I Two of them are from Gail on Instagram. I'll link her down below. She said that I should color the last page in a book. Great idea. And color a title page in a book, which I think that she might have even said the name page. She might have said title page, so we'll see what comes up. So I'm gonna fold those up. And then this last one was from Emily at I Hate Butterflies or Butterflies Suck, I never remember, but I'm gonna link it below. And she said that I should color from an intimidating book, which scares me, like that's the point. So I kinda hope we do not pull that one right now, but if we do, we will deal with it. <sighs> so I'm going to, again, shuffle them up. So I'm looking right now while I'm shuffling just so that they don't all get squished together and then I'm going to close my eyes and I will pull okay so my eyes are now closed and I'm going to pull one let's see what we get this one we got husband's choice he's at work right now okay I will text him some choices Let's do that. Okay, so I guess be right. Okie doke, I waited for Sam to come home from work. He is here now. Say hello, Sam. Hello. And he's going to pick something. So, do you have any ideas in mind? No. Cool, cool, cool. No, like, genre or anything? You're just going to look through the shelves? Yeah. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff in the basket that's, like, new stuff and, like, the split coloring books. My cart has a bunch of stuff. All the Hanalins over there, Disney. I prefer not to do Disney on screen, but if you want to, and then obviously the closet. This is too many choices. Right. That's why I asked if you had an idea. It would be easier if I had an idea. So he's flipping through some stuff right now. I assume and fear he's just going to pick the first thing he sees. Yeah, probably. But for you, I'll pick the second thing. <sighs> oh, he put fairy tales back. Let's see. Oh. Now he's looking through the gnomes book. Yeah? Ugh. <laughs> he has picked the wedding gnomes. Hooray! Hooray. Is it? Yeah. So this is Camellia Angelkova's 50 Lovely Gnomes. I just hauled this in my last video. I'm super excited for this. And I'm glad to do it because it can be used for Angel... Anyway. Angelkova August. Which is Shayna in Colorland's hashtag for the month. So I'll have all that info down below her channel, her hashtag. I'm pushing my um, computer out of the way a little bit. What should we use to color in here? You don't need preference on that, do you? He does not. I would almost say, I don't know. I'm like spoiled by my markers and I just only want to use markers. This is another new book, so we gotta squish it down, okay. I'm really excited to do this page. I just don't have a plan. See, I almost would just want to use watercolor again because I love watercolor so much, but I think that will get to like, this is <sighs> Amazon paper. So I think that'll get real sloppy real quick. So I'm thinking what I could use. Let me look at my cart. Turned around. 
I'm debating using pencils. I haven't used pencils in so, so long that I feel like I don't even know how to use them anymore. Okay. All right, so let me know if that's really annoying that I kept all that in. But I think that's part of the challenge is to see what's going on. I'm gonna use my pencils. I actually, this is the Prismacolor 48 set. I have the 150 set, but I kind of tend to go for the 48s first because they're so much smaller. And I love, like, you can tell how much these all got used up, like they're getting so low. So I just think that's exciting. So we're gonna start here and if we need to, we will go somewhere else. But I'm gonna link, so I think that's it for my supplies. So I have the pencils, the book, and I have probably my Tegal sharpener. I've been trying to, at the beginning of my video, tell you what supplies I'm gonna use. Hopefully that's helpful. And again, everything will be linked down below. All right. What do we do? I've been using so much water medium. How do I not do that? I'm just gonna do some leaves first, maybe. Sure, we'll just do some leaves first. I don't know, okay. Leaves, here we go. I'm not, I'm probably just gonna straight color for the most part because I don't want to take all day long and all night long. So we're gonna straight color. I probably would have used my alcohol markers, but if you saw my haul, you'll you'll have seen that I needed to order a new set of my Cali Arts. They're all drying up together, which is so sad, but that should be here in a day or two. So for now, I don't really wanna go through doing half the page in um, marker only to find out that they're all dried out and also this is pretty thin line work which I love the look of it but I'm not sure how much bleeding we would get with the alcohol markers. I was debating doing a different type of marker like a water-based marker but we're just gonna go for pencils. I don't know if I've done a pencil video since I've come back to YouTube in full force uh, I didn't really leave this time, but I would definitely take breaks. So I'm, again, praying that my hair is not in frame because that's frustrating. I don't know what that is. It looks like a different type of leaf, but it's like the only one. Yeah, there's some weird line work that I'm not sure what's going on here, but we're just going to do what we know first and go from there, I guess. I think that's probably part of that rose. Okay. Yeah, so again, this is a super cute page. I was actually flipped through this and I showed him this one specifically. And I was like, they're married. I was actually thinking of doing a page like this for our actual anniversary, but now we're doing it now. So we won't have to do it then. Let's see, should I pretend to do layers. I feel like I should not, but now I am. I can do, this is what I used to do as a kid is I would just do the border in a darker color. So I guess that's like, I mean, it definitely makes a difference. It looks cute. Yes, okay, sorry, I get distracted. So I'm just gonna start and do all of these leaves first. Yeah, so we had a crazy few days here. I'm again filming this on August 5th. I've been doing a bunch of pre-filming today. So you'll see a bunch of videos that come out with all the same manicure probably. That's probably the indication that they're all from today, August 5th. And I think I say it in the beginning of each video too for transparency or something, I don't know. But yesterday we were hit by 
uh, the tropical storm that was going through and like coming near Florida, it came up here yesterday. And I don't know why, but I feel like we weren't prepared for it. Thankfully, it wasn't that bad, especially for my house. Well, I'll tell you about it. But there didn't seem to be much lead up to it. And I think sometimes we get like a week of lead up or just more alert than we did this time. But basically for about four hours we had torrential rain like you couldn't see out of any windows in the house because there was so much rain happening and then worse than that is we had very very bad wind and there's actually a tree in our yard that I think must be very near dead like it doesn't bloom the right time doesn't lose its leaves the right time it's just in rough shape and any storm we get, it'll lose a branch or two. But this was very, very, very high winds. So a large portion of this tree fell off. So it was all in chunks. It wasn't like the tree split in half or anything. But there were many, many chunks coming down off of this tree, which was pretty intense and not pleasant because I was sitting here in the office and I would just keep hearing cracks. And I actually like moved all my stuff to the living room for a while because there, that's the other side of the house and there's no trees over there, just in case. But luckily nothing came at the house. And while the whole backyard right now is just piles and piles of branches, there was no other damage, so very, Happy about that. Um, yeah, the other thing is I was supposed to be home alone yesterday and I would have freaked out, but luckily and smartly, my dad pushed his business trip off a day because he would have just been driving and all of that and he would have had to pull over, but um, it was crazy. It was crazy time. And then for whatever reason, basically all of our neighbors lost power, but we didn't, which also... I appreciate it a lot because I am terrified of the dark and hate it. So I would not have enjoyed that and I like to avoid that whenever possible. And luckily we did get to avoid that. So I don't know what it was, but our neighbors right next door and right behind us all lost power. I think it eventually came back. It was only like an hour or two, which wasn't too bad in the grand scheme of things. But I wouldn't like that at all, because by that time it was night. So, when we had Hurricane Sandy, what year was that? 2012, maybe? 11, 12? I don't know. We, again, were very lucky to get no damage or flooding, but we lost power for nine days. Including my birthday! <laughs> so that was the end of hurricane season. Obviously, Sandy is S, too. But uh, that was not my favorite thing. So, especially once you get to November, it's dark so much earlier too. So it's just too much darkness for my taste. So that all happened. But anyway, that meant today, well actually also yesterday, Sam was at work while this was happening and his job lost power at work and they just like made them stay for a really long time. And I was like, just let him go home. Like, what are you doing? But it was probably for the best that he didn't leave right away because that was the worst of the rain. But then he had to stay like two, three hours after the power went out. They did finally let him go. Then today, uh, we ended up having a surprise visitor. I have a cousin who lives two miles away. Actually, I actually have two cousins that both live two miles away. And one of them has been working from home with all the corona. So she called this morning and she was like, my internet's out. Can I please work from your house? And I was like, yes, come over here. So she did and was here most of the day. And I actually, her daughter came with her and we colored, did some split coloring. So you'll see that at the end of the month, but we did three pages. I might post that on Instagram later today so that was a lot of fun to do some split coloring with somebody else than Sam since he won't do any with me sir 
Now they know you're here. He's just nodding at me. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, so we did the same TV girl books and had a good time, I think. And then we ended up watching a whole bunch of Tiny Toons, which that was fun. Sorry, I had like a wrong pipe coughing fit for a second. Whew, I think I am better now. Hopefully I cut that out. But yeah, so they were here for most of the day. Which, so that was fun and we colored together while my cousin worked and she watched some of my videos and that was interesting. So I don't know if she's watching this, but if you are, hey girl, hey. Probably not, but you know, <laughs> just in case. And we had pizza for lunch, which was a surprise because I wasn't planning on doing that if I was by myself. And of course, noodles all day long, the whole time they were here, she was just very, very quiet and just laid on the couch and didn't do anything, didn't bother anyone. And then once they left, she's just been screaming. And she's been barking a whole bunch and she's been like eating things off of shelves. Like what's going on here? So she saved all that up for just me. Though so I would say thank you, but I don't want it. So no thank you noodles. But now it's nighttime again, so she's just passed out on her bed next to me, which I think you saw in my office tour where she sleeps. We actually ordered her a new bed that hopefully will be coming soon. So we have this giant beanbag chair and it's called Yoga Bow and it's great. And I love it, but the problem is Noodles loves it too. So most of the time she steals it for herself. And we have like the biggest, it's called a like Yoga Bow Max. So it's human size and it's like you can lay down on it and anytime I lay down on it I fall asleep basically instantly. Um, so if you're ever like feeling it like an insomniac just lay on that thing. It's super super comfortable. So I had emailed the company a while back and I was like oh I just have a suggestion. Dog beds. My dog steals my yoga boat all the time. She needs her own so I can get her off mine. And they were like, wow, good idea. And then now they have them. So I won't say that it's related to me emailing them, but you never know. Maybe it's because I emailed them. <laughs> so now we ordered her a doggy bow. And that should get here soon. And I think she's going to love it. So we'll see what happens. But I'm definitely excited. But I really want like all of their products because they just seem amazing. So, I don't know. The Yoga Bow is definitely a crowd pleaser. We actually got Yoga Bow before Noodles. So, I don't know how she can claim it as her own. But she does. And, yeah, I thought it would take longer for me to tell you the story of my day. And also, now that I stopped the video, I'm going to have no idea how long it is. So, that's cool. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm just coloring one layer and it's like coming out super sparse. I don't know what the word would be. And I'm just kind of going to leave it like that because on the other, on one hand, I would love it if it was beautiful and perfect and blended. But on the other hand, I don't want to just be doing this forever. Like I just want to enjoy the page and then move on to the next one. So that's kind of my always method for these kinds of things. So I hope that doesn't bother you. Sometimes it bothers me, to be honest, because I'll look back and I'll be like, man, I wish I tried harder. But this is fun. Like, I just like doing this. So, and honestly, I'm distracted enough as it is to be able to talk at the same time. Like, attempting to layer is a whole nother layer that I wouldn't be able to handle. <laughs> so, there's that. So yeah, I have some questions for you if you so choose to answer them. Also, first of all, I am batch filming. So this is my third video of the day, but you're seeing it second probably. I don't know. I have been loving that because it is like a relief to have all these videos ready for you and scheduled so I don't have to worry about coming up with something and filming it. Like again, 
I wanted to film all day, but then I had surprise guests. So if I didn't have a video ready at all, I, I don't know what I would have done. So now I already have a bunch of videos ready. So in case I can't film for a while, I got stuff ready for you because I'm still keeping with the every other day schedule. I've been putting up a video every other day and hopefully you guys like that and I've been watching those. So I guess some of my questions were, is this annoying that I film so much at once? I don't really see how it could be besides maybe like if you ask a question or if you ask me to film something, then you might have to wait a little bit for me to put it up. But so far, nobody's really asked anything specific. I did have a request for like a behind the scenes of what I do, which I'm gonna try to work on and that maybe will be the next video. Let's see, that is the problem. I have to figure out the order that they're going up in. But, um, I kind of answered her question in the comment anyway, so I hope that that will hold her over until I can film my idea. Um, I think I'm gonna do one more and then a lighter pink. Sure, why not? But yeah, so I don't know if there's really a downside. My more important question is, how do you feel about video length? So I, will watch like once I have a favorite color tube or whatever I will basically watch whatever they put out I will use the trick Shana taught me which is to watch on double speed which has like changed my YouTube game forever but I'll basically watch anything um and also if there's something that I really don't want to see I will skip it so I think that happens with you guys with me too because there's definitely some videos that do better than others but all that being said is is there like a magic number that you'll sit and watch and then if it's longer than that you won't or what's the deal because i can't think of things to say for more than like half an hour at a time it's hard i have a few ideas for things to talk about during videos that i'm hoping to do soon but it's hard and I don't know how people do it, especially with batch videoing. Like, my voice is shot. I think that's why I had the coughing spell. I just forgot how to speak. So, yeah, I set my Instagram to give me notifications on the computer. So that's what that is. I'm getting likes and stuff over there that's that's fun but yeah so i don't know if there's like i hate when i used to my personal videos i would color and chat for like an hour or whatever it was but then i wouldn't show the finished page and that is not my favorite way to do it because i think the finished page is like why you watched to see the answer to see the results so i like to show my finished pages if and when possible. So I have tested in a few different videos um, the idea of doing a time lapse in the middle because time lapse is like times 10 speed or something. It's crazy. And by that I mean the time lapse button on the phone. And then I think those clips end up being 30 seconds to a minute long, which obviously once you put it in, the video is like, you get a lot done in a short amount of time is what I'm attempting to say. So do you like those? I'm also pretty sure I asked these same questions in my next video, so I apologize for that. But again, batch editing, I don't know what you're gonna see first, it's all a mess. Um, yeah, so what do you think? What do you think about these things? Do you have a preference? Whatever I wanna do is good by you. I have a feeling a lot of people are gonna say that which is super nice, but I don't know if it's super helpful. Like, I'd rather do what you want me to do. But I don't know, like, I'm not interesting enough to do all this chatting, especially this year when we're not doing things, which I'm not upset that we're not doing things. I'm happy to not be doing things if it will continue to keep people safe, but 
when it comes to chatting about it, I got nothing. So, let me know. Where did my sharpener go? Pencils are weird. I haven't colored in pencils in so long. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Uh, hopefully, that's not a dark enough color. I'm glad I went through the trouble of sharpening it. I almost want to take out the big set of pencils, but also they're just so physically big. Ah. So I'm going to, of course, make her purple because purple is my favorite color. Purple and yellow. So I'm going to make her purple and I'm going to make her flowers purple. Or her hat. I don't know about the rest of her dress. We will see. Sam, what else can I talk about? Mm -hmm. He has headphones on. He's not really paying attention to me. He said, I don't know. I don't know either, and that's the problem. Ooh. Yeah, but I have a lot of video ideas coming up. Hopefully you liked my Throwback Thursday video. I'm pretty happy with that one. And that was going to be... Like, I thought that was a cool idea. And there are two Thursdays in the month of, what month are we in? August that I should be uploading on. So I figure I will do a second one of those at least. And then if you guys like them, maybe I can try to continue to do that. And if not, we'll move on to something else. Mm, I hate how this just came out. I pressed too hard and it looks stupid. Okay. Anyway, sorry. So I hope you like that idea. I have, I know what I'm gonna do for the rest of them or for the next few of them. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, so I can do more bubbles. And what else? How I color, I have, an idea or two left for how I color but unless I have any requests I'm running low on genres of things I could always keep doing like different books these colors look the same don't they oh my goodness how is that two different colors whatever now I'm just gonna do them all the same that's fine sorry see I get distracted by what I'm coloring which feels right like I should be paying attention to what I'm coloring <sighs> okay um yes so how I color if you have any more ideas for that that you want to see from me let me know for sure I've been enjoying that uh what else have I been doing regularly I plan on doing any happy mail doing a color and chat along with that like I did, and I have another one. So I, in my haul, showed the video from Jenny. Yep, that was the haul I'm talking about. And she gave me that cute witch's book, but we're waiting till September to color in it. But I will definitely be doing a color and chat in that book as a thank you to make sure everyone knows when September comes. Ooh, I know, in September, I'm also going to be releasing round two of the scavenger hunt. I'm super excited for that. Hopefully you are too. And I don't know, I love tags. If there's any other tags that I can do, not make up, but do, let me know, because I just wanna do all the tags. And now I'm not gonna have any more hauls, so that's sad. So I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, let me just do the peach skin. Peach skin time. This is the color peach. This might be, yeah, this is light peach. Not even peach. Maybe I'll do him peach since I keep saying peach made it pretty easy because she doesn't even have hands to worry about. <sighs> so now we're at 14 minutes, but again, this is like the third clip 
of coloring. So I don't know how long we've been doing this. So that's frustrating. Well, I said I would do him regular peach. going to give her brown hair why not how do we know what's hair here okay Ooh. I just I think this book is so cute I hope that I get a lot more done in this book in this month and in my spending freeze my spending pause I hope nobody like drops a surprise book that I really need to have instantly. <laughs> or like in July, there were so many sales. It was crazy. Like everybody was putting their books on sale for $5. It's hard to say no to $5. But I'm not even gonna check. I'm probably gonna check. I'm gonna try not to check as much. Man, that's so boring. Sam, help me. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. I always, at the end of every video, I always get really awkward. And then, like, I forget how to end things. And then, at the end, I always, like, turn to him. And I'm like, wow, that was the worst one yet. I don't know if you can tell. But I feel awkward at the end. So. This is so cute. Ah. Do blue know me? I'm really like struggling here. I'm also really warm. Is it warm in here, Sam? No, a little bit. I don't know what happened. We had the fan on earlier. I don't know if you noticed, Samuel, but my cousin was like, it's too hot. And I was like, okay. So I like dragged in the fan from the bedroom for the office, but then I turned it off because I wasn't sure if you could hear it in videos. And that would be annoying. So I turned it off. And now I'm suffering. I'm sure it's like 72 degrees. Like it's probably nothing dramatic. But I'm dramatic. See, I almost want to keep his hair white because it just feels like it would be. But that's weird. Maybe. Like, this might be a lot of white. What if I keep her dress white? Mm. Okay, how about what would you like to hear from me during a color and chat? Again, I have another theme or two thought up, but I want to like that to be the whole video, not just start talking about it in the middle. But is there like questions you want me to answer or stories you want me to tell? Once Sam used to work at Target and he brought me home gnomes from the like dollar spot area and they're super cute. And they live on my bookcase now. It's that, that's a gnome related story that I could tell, but, but now it's over. Um, it was funny though, because he bought one that was like sitting on a mushroom and it was really cute. And I was like, ooh, that one's me. And it was pink. And then the blue one is like laying down in a Samish pose. This guy, he can just like lay down anywhere, but not like on his back, like to take a nap, but he like props himself up. Yeah, that's right, Sam. If you don't give me anything to say, I'm gonna talk about you. Okay. Oh. I think I really am gonna keep her dress white. Maybe I'll do her veil then, cause it's too much white. Should I do the veil in the same color? <gasps> oh no. Here we go. I keep having like, Premonition, no, 
Like I keep thinking about how I'm gonna open videos and I like sing things and then I'm never gonna do that in a real video. What am I talking about? Oh no, look at all this str what is going on? Ah! I'm in distress. It's looking bad. Mayday. Oh no, no. Now it hit the back of my paper. Like abort. We have to get out while we still can. No, this book is so cute. This is the streakiest work I've done. I've completely forgotten how to use pencils. I've completely forgotten how to speak while coloring. Everything is going downhill. It's fine, it's fine, okay. Should I color his hair? Should I color his hair silver? <gasps> he can be a silver fox. Ooh. I'm sure it's just gonna look gray on camera. Oh, that's more peach. I'm like. Okay, sorry. Uh, that ended abruptly for a second. I was really struggling. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna say, but I was just going actually downhill fast. I think that I needed to sit for a second and have a sip of water and regroup a little bit and hopefully finish strong. Jeesh. So, yes. I don't know if I still have anything to say, but now I feel a little more focused. I'm doing his beard gray and I'm gonna give him some ginger root pants. Ginger root is probably my most used color in here in my Prismas. And it's actually in that pencil extender, which I'll show you in one second when we switch colors. I also realized I missed some more peach space. And please, nobody take any advice on coloring from this big picture because this is not my best work. But that's fine. Not every page can be your best. So this is Ginger Root and this is the extender. I don't know if there's a brand to it but I love these things. I always have a, um, what are you called? Blender extender. <laughs> I always have a blender pencil in the extenders pretty much. I guess not when it's brand new, but I've gone through many a blender pencil, which can you see over here? Oof. So these are my three first blender pencils. And I use them, like that's how much you can use them up with that extender on them because it will get really, really small and still at least be this long. So you're really at like that length, which is still manageable in my experience. So I'm happy with that. I got them as a gift a few years ago, a three pack, so. I wonder when this is going, well, no, it'll still be before Sam's birthday. So Sam's birthday is coming. In the past, I've done like crazy themes. I think I showed the theme for last year in a video, but last year we had a cereal themed party and the, it was pretty crazy. So to make it cereal themed, I actually painted a bunch of cereal mascots on poster board. And I, yeah, we painted them, cut them out. So they were basically like, they could have been human masks, essentially, maybe even a little bigger than that. And we had put them on the wall uh, as decor. And then at the end of the night, we took them off the wall and people like used them as masks to take pictures. So that was pretty cool. And we also like had Rice Krispie Treats as it was 30th birthday. So I made 30 out of the Rice Krispie Treats. And instead of like bowls of chips in the beginning, like spread around the table, I put bowls of dry cereal out. So there's a few types of dry cereal that you can eat dry and still enjoy it. So I did that. And that was how it was cereal themed. Noodles was actually the bee from Cheerios, the Honey Nut Bee. And it was super cute. I got her little bee costume that she also then wore to Halloween. 
and that was really fun. So I like to do themes for him because, I, first of all, I love hosting parties. Like, that's probably what I miss most in this situation is that I don't get to throw parties. I'm My parties aren't, like, huge things. They're, like, 8 to 12 people. So it's not, like, big, big things. But because they're so small, I always make decorations and I, like, make intense themes and I try to make like food that makes sense. My birthday party last year was Harry Potter and I made everyone uh, house ties, like clip on ties so it would look like part of the uniform for Harry Potter. I'm also gonna keep that white, which I know at this point is getting to be a lot of white, but I think it makes sense because it's their wedding outfits. So, and I made the house crests as decor and then I made my own birthday cake and it was like the cake Harry gets from Hagrid in the book one so it's like happy birthday Harry and it was looked as if it was all broken up but it was not it was intentional and the year before that my party was 90s themed and we all dressed up as different 90s cartoon characters and I was Angelica Pickles and Sam was Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. And I had a whole bunch of decor for that. I made a bunch of like construction paper decor because that's what I would have done in the 90s. So I like made those chains that you can make from construction paper. And I made like, um, what, what are these random leaves doing? I put a whole bunch of VHSs on display as my decor. And I actually made everybody like goodie bags like you'd get in the 90s. Um, we actually, that that was one of my best parties, I think, because I actually came up with a bunch of activities. So we almost did like double dare style activities where you would, we would do physical challenges and it was like a bunch of minute to win it stuff and a bunch of just stuff I found all over the internet, like Pinterest and wherever. And it was so, so much fun. And then I also, enlisted the help of some people to do different trivias so like we did a 90s cartoons trivia we did a 90s movie trivia we did a 90s music trivia and then because it was my birthday party and this is just who i am i did a 90s about me trivia so it was like all questions about what i was like in the 90s i think some of it was like obvious because some of these things just haven't changed so like what was my favorite color in the 90s is still my favorite color now. And just some things I thought were pretty obvious, but nobody did very good. I don't even remember. Sam, did your team win? Danielle trivia? Uh, sure, yeah, definitely. I don't know. I think it was pretty close. And if they won, I don't think it was Sam that did the winning. I think it was my friend Donald remembered that my favorite animal used to be sharks before it was turtles. So, mm, not your best work, Samuel. But yeah, so I love a theme party. Okay, I did it. I made it to the end of the video. Thank goodness, it was really touch or go for a second. But I hope we pulled it together enough that somebody's still watching. And if you are, thank you so much for sticking around through this storm that was this video. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Why haven't you? And comment down below, chat with me. I've been doing a whole bunch of buddy colors and stuff on Instagram, so if you're interested in that, I'm gonna link a whole bunch of stuff down below, like what I used in this video. And yeah, mostly that. I think we're done. So not the most detailed page I've ever done. I always like to take out this at the end so you can see it, but I like it. I think it's pretty cute. I think this whole book is pretty cute. I am hoping to do more pages from this in this coming month, maybe not on camera, but hopefully we'll get some more done. I hope you enjoyed my husband's choice challenge. I'm sure I'll be doing another challenge video soon. Let me know if you do this challenge. Like I would totally love to see it. Tag me, show me however you need to show me, comment, whatever. I'm excited to see what your person chooses for you. And our word of the video hmm, is going to just be gnome. I think that's too easy. Like you might just know to say gnome from the beginning, but 
that's what I've come up with. So thanks so much for watching. Whew, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.